Welcome as we come in worship today here in the cathedral and those who will be joining us through their worship at home. The speakers in the cathedral have stopped working. <laughs> what can I say? So, yeah. So, Becky and I will try to project, and we hope that it reaches you. And if it doesn't, please do move further forward. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's stand. We meet in Christ's name. Christians, that they may cast out what is harmful and pursue all that gives life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is from the 12th chapter of Acts. But the word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then, after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now, in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. 
And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. Give thanks to the Lord for his glorious gospel. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let us pray. God, we thank you that when we see Jesus, it points us right back to you. Help us to continually go to Jesus, to see the light that he brings, and to bring the light of Jesus into our every day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church, for all those who need prayer and worship, for the College of Bishops, for Ian, our acting bishop, and for Keith, as he prepares for consecration this weekend. God, give your wisdom and encouragement through the Holy Spirit. We pray for all those who are discerning what calling means and exploring ways of serving the world and the church. God, guide them into the plans that you have and give them courage to take steps forward. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our world, for those places where there is corruption, pain, discrimination, racism. God, bring your insight into these places and move the hearts and minds of those who are in positions of leadership, that new examples may be seen. We pray for those who are in leadership in our local councils and in our governments, here at Holyrood and at Westminster. Bring your Holy Spirit to our governments and inspire our leaders. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious. We pray for all those who are struggling with the coronavirus pandemic, for countries seeing surges, with hospitals unable to cope and resources running out. God, bring comfort to those who are hurting and inspire others to act who can help to bring aid to those who need it. We pray for those businesses that have just reopened and for those who still remain shut. We pray for those who are excited and enjoying the changing restrictions, and for those who are finding it hard and anxiety inducing. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are ill in mind, body, or spirit. We pray for those who are recently diagnosed, for those waiting for treatments, and those who wait by their sides. We pray for those who provide care, support, and treatment for those who are unwell. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. God, bring your comfort and your peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We bring all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken, to the feet of Jesus. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Worship and praise belong to you, author of all being. Your power sustains. Your love restores our broken world. You are unceasingly at work, from chaos bringing order and filling emptiness with life. Christ, raised from the dead, proclaims the dawn of hope. He lives in us that we may walk in light. Your spirit is fire in us. Your breath is power to purge our sin and warm our hearts to love. As children of your redeeming purpose, freed by him who burst from the tomb and opened the gate of life, we offer our praise with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, sharing the hymn of your unending glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Praise and thanksgiving be to you, Lord of all, for by the cross, Eternal life is ours, and death is swallowed up in victory. In the first light of Easter, glory broke from the tomb and changed the women's sorrow into joy. From the garden, the mystery dawned that he whom they had loved and lost is with us now in every place forever making himself known in the breaking of the bread, speaking peace to the fearful disciples, welcoming weary fishermen on the shore. He renewed the promise of his presence and of new birth in the Spirit, who sets the seal of freedom on your sons and daughters. Before he was given up to suffering and death, Recalling the night of Israel's release, the night in which slaves walked free, at supper with his disciples, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. It is broken for you. After supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out for you and for all that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. We now obey your son's command. We recall his blessed passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Made one with him, we offer you these gifts, and with them ourselves, a single, holy, living sacrifice. Hear us, most merciful Father, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and this wine, that overshadowed by his life-giving power, they may be the body and blood of your Son, 
and we may be kindled with the fire of your love and renewed for the service of your kingdom. Help us, who are baptised into the fellowship of Christ's body, to live and work to your praise and glory. May we grow together in unity and love, until at last in your new creation we enter into our heritage, in the company of the Virgin Mary, the Apostles and Prophets, and of all our brothers and sisters, living and departed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be to you, Lord of all ages, world without end. Amen. for the life of the world. Lord, unite us in this sign. As our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Come, receive of God's gift of love.
Give thanks to our gracious God, whose mercy endures forever. Father, you restored us to life by raising your Son from death. May we, who receive this sacrament, always be strengthened to do your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia.